In this tutorial, you will learn how to turn this into this. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and set up our Hero Pro. So we're gonna go ahead and power that up. And you press the mode a couple times until you see this icon right here, which is gonna be the uh, settings. You press the top to select it. And over here, you're gonna press the top. And as you can see, over here we have our resolution, frames per second, and if you wanna do wide or uh, medium and so on. So if you want to select a different resolution, you press the top. As you can see, I have a big selection over here. Since this is the black edition, I have more than uh, the regular or standard version. So if you want to do 1080p, you select the top. You press the bottom to select the frames per second. You press the top. And over here, you have 24, 30, 48, or 60 frames per second. Press the top press this which is the bottom you press the top you have a couple selections right here depending on the shot or <clears throat> excuse me the effect that you want to give to that camera since we selected that now we can exit that select the bottom couple times to exit and you exit that and as you can see it's 1080p 60 frames per second so when you press this, it's already recording. Alright, so now we need to create a folder. I'll go ahead and title that slow motion. Close that. Go ahead and connect your GoPro to your computer. It should automatically open a folder to transfer your data. So we're gonna go ahead and select that. And we're gonna locate the folder which is created. Here we go. As you can see, there is a couple of um, clips, so we're going to go ahead and import all. Go ahead and open GoPro Cinema Form Studio. Now, the reason why I'm using this software is because it actually converts your file to the highest resolution your GoPro can actually um, do or is capable of doing. Um, as you can see, you have uh, 1080p, I have a file that is 720p, and this is the one that I shot at 250, uh, 240 frames per second because I am using the GoPro uh, Black Edition. So we're going to go ahead and select that. Now over here, you can actually change the location to your desired um, folder. However, it's already selected to the location that I need. So I'm just going to cancel that. You select your File, select events, select to the highest red resolution or quality. Now over here, I'm not gonna worry too much about this because again, we are using the Final Cut Pro to do the slow motion effect. However, if you don't have any other software, you can actually use different uh, frame rates, and this will actually keep the slow motion slow motion effect. Sorry about that. So let's go ahead and select uh, OK and play the clip. As you can see, all of that beginning, I don't need. So we're going to go ahead and put the in, which is going to be I, and the O, which is going to be o, um, out. So only this portion of the clip I'm going to be using. Select Add to Clip uh, to Conversion, and we press conversion. Convert. Now please make sure to uh, hit the thumbs up if you're actually learning something today. And we're not going to be worried about doing uh, step two because, again, we are using Final Cut Pro. But just so you have an idea, over here you can actually do the zooming and add effects to your clips. Um, so we're going to press Command Q and select Save. 
So our next step is going to be opening Final Cut Pro. Once Final Cut Pro is open, we're going to go ahead and uh, select our hard drive over here on the top. Press Option N to create a new event. Label that. And we're going to go ahead and press uh, Import Media. We're going to select our external hard drive. And as you can see, here is the folder that we created. Here is the file that we need. This is the original. And this is the one that we actually um, formatted using our GoPro Cinema, Cinema Studio. So we import that. We want to make sure that we select Create Optimized Media. The reason why is because we want to make sure that when we create our playback, it's not going to be as choppy or as slow. Now, the next thing we need to do is uh, press Command N. And again, we're going to go ahead and uh, label that. Select your media. Place it here. And we're just going to go ahead and do 1080p. You can do 23. Wait. And again, that's just going to be your personal preference. Uh, we're going to go ahead and make this a little bigger because, again, we are dealing with a small clip. And we're going to just crop that just a little bit. There you go. Now we select our clip, press Command R. And if you press right here, you can actually slow it down. But you can always just cl click on the edge and really take it to the next level by slowing it really. So we're going to do 10%. Right now it's rendering. Over here again. If you click over here you can add different uh, camera effects. Like you know, do black and white. Whatever your preference would be. To give it a more dramatic look. And of course you can always add titles to your, um, to your clip. So we're going to go ahead and play that. So there you have it. That's how you create a slow-mo clip. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Please make sure to thumbs up my video. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching and you guys have a great day.